Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Michelle Griego, and we've got a great show this morning. Science, health, books, even wearable art. But first, we're going to talk film. A new romantic comedy premiered at Frameline, San Francisco's annual LGBT film festival, and it's called Sell By. Here's a short clip. If you and Marklin would just get married. Mm. Not taking his money, Elizabeth. It's not taking money when you're married. It's called sharing. That is marriage. I mean, why are you so against it? I mean, I marched my ass in the snow for your rights. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing about gay marriage. No, 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 no. Don't say it. It's so gay. It's not funny. Oh, Sell By is getting rave reviews, and here in the studio this morning is the film's director, actor Mike Doyle. Thank you so much Thanks for, for having me. joining us. Yeah. yeah, coming on the show. I'm very excited to meet you. Yeah. So let's talk about this film. I mean, it's kind of funny, that uh, conversation that we just heard, because, yeah. you know, isn't that relationships right there? Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a romantic comedy about three couples, a uh, gay couple, two straight couples, and um, I explore the universality of the challenges of being in a relationship with another person so there's something it's a it's a large friends friend circle and there's uh, there's something for everyone in there uh, you know my hope was uh, watching it uh, an audience member would feel like oh I feel part of I could be the seventh friend and I fit into this and what there's what they're battling with uh, with their partners is uh, is something that we all can recognize right and each relationship they're going through something different yeah yeah one of the relationships they're in the five-year mark they're not married they don't have kids they're sort of asking the question is that all there is um, another relationship uh, she finds a guy who um, ticks all the boxes except that he um, lives in a box because he's uh, <laughs> homeless um, and that's a bit of a spoiler but uh, and then uh, there there are some other um, uh, relationships uh, where we see how we sort of spin our wheels and fumble uh, you know, trying to uh, connect with another person. And as you said, this speaks to everybody. So it's yeah. just open for everyone to see. I mean, relationships are hard. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I've been married uh, more than 20 years. Yeah, so, so you yeah. know. Yeah. You know. You, there, you, there, there, there are knowing, you know, with the premiere um, a few days ago, uh, there are knowing groans in the audience when certain things <laughs> happen. Like people are like, oh, yeah, that's my wife, or that's my boyfriend, or that's my husband. So, so basically, you're laughing and crying at the same time. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So you are an actor. Um, you're am. also a director as well. I am. Yeah, I, I'm not in this film. Um, I wrote and directed it. Uh, so the experience is very different um, uh, being on that side of the camera, something I enjoy quite, quite quite a bit. Um, that's a nice little pick. Yeah, that's yeah. a great picture. So yeah. you wrote this. What, what was the inspiration behind all of this? Uh, you know, I, um, I had written some uh, and directed some shorts that got some attention and I wanted to do a, a larger idea about a uh, group of uh, friends, uh, you know, I guess my, my, um, my, my inspiration uh, directors are like Whit Stillman, um, Noah Baumbach, early Woody Allen. So I wanted to create a, a story that had heart um, and a lot of humor. Some of those conversations were those things that you've heard and you yeah, kind of little put on snippets. Paper? Yeah, well, you know, it's little snippets that you, you know, that you sort of incorporate into uh, this, you know, lovely stew that you're making and whip it up into fiction. Okay, so the premiere was a few days ago. How yeah. did that go? It was amazing. I mean, San Francisco is is the perfect place to premiere this film, and the Castro Theater is an amazing, amazing theater. I mean, it's huge. So I was a little scared about <laughs> filling it, which we did. Um, you know, and they start every movie with an organ player, which is bananas. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, and like amazing. I mean, why not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, the reception here couldn't couldn't have gone better. Well, you've been involved with so many projects, and as you we're talking to the actor and also director, writer, producer. What do you like best? Working. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, keeping busy. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, but my work as an actor, I'm, I'm, I'm on a new show now, uh, the Kevin Bacon show, City on a Hill. Uh, it's just a, it's a different experience. You're one piece of a very large puzzle. And when you're writing and directing, you're responsible for the whole puzzle. Um, 
And that's exciting because I, I, it's, it's challenges one on many different levels. So. so working with Kevin Bacon, you worked with Clint Eastwood. I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, you know, and it's funny because my film school really has been uh, my experience on sets as an actor. Mm -hmm. And, you know, particularly with Clint Eastwood, who also is an actor director. Uh, just learning, just hanging around, watching the pros do their, do, do what they do best. And uh, I'm, I'm very, fortunate to have been on many sets with many different directors and you know it's you know it's like being in a studio here you're like how does that work what does that do and mm -hmm. you 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 learn a lot um, just by being old <laughs> <laughs> not old just experience er, er, <laughs> older <laughs> seasoned yes <laughs> all right well mike thank you it was yeah, so thanks nice for having meeting me. you and talking yeah. to you and sell by will be at outfest down in la next month you can get more information on sellby.com and coming up, a new exhibit at the California Academy of Science about skin when Bay Area Focus returns in just a moment.